Hello, Dr. Yayao. My name is Constantine Rote Jr. and this is my presentation for the physics optional project where we're supposed to analyze um, or discuss certain concepts we've learned or a specific concept we've learned in our class this semester. The concept I picked was um, inertia. Um, I mean, the general concept was forces, specifically inertia, which is the first um, um, Newton law of motion. And um, I have a few points here I defined, or I'm going to cover, which is what is a force, examples of forces, specifically the law of inertia, uh, some examples. And I uh, personally made a demonstration of the law, of the, of the concept. Um, and I made a video, and I'll kind of gradually explain how I understand this concept. And uh, yeah, the real world application also. So what is a force? Force is an action that changes or maintains the motion of a body or object, which is kicking the ball, pulling toward, pulling a box towards you or away from you. Um, There's so many things we can do that contributes to a force. It, it, basically, a force is a push or a pull, as the diagram um, kind of points out. And so the aim um, of a force is usually to move something to get an inanimate object animate or to make it locomote. Um, and I said here, force, forces come in different forms and usually result in change of position of the object for which it acts on. And sometimes the object with the force is transferred from first. So sometimes, um, or not sometimes, when the force acts on something, it's, it's the force is being transferred from a body of motion. Uh, and a motion, uh, an object which is not in motion cannot give force or locomotion or velocity or energy to another object um and that's what that's my point on the, on the last part of the uh slide the next slide gives examples there are so many kinds of forces um the main ones we covered were uh, or we talked about or discussed or applied were the force force of gravity friction tension weight normal force and the list goes on and force forces cause motion and that's kind of what the diagram diagram illustrates both some forces and some motion and the point here also is that with forces um, as you apply force to something or force applied to an object, it makes the object move. And that's what I was covering on the first slide, which is basically what a force is. And the diagram shows examples, pushing, pulling, like a bow, an arrow, using ma magnetism, magnetic force to attract metals or magnetic um, objects. Um, gravity, um, kind of a, a, a play on with um, Isaac Newton's discovery of gravity. With that picture of friction, we see a kid sliding down with a sleigh and acceleration. So motion can motion causes velocity, speed, acceleration, and so on and so forth. And that's what the second diagram was illustrating. And we see this in our daily life. And this diagram shows things we do in our daily life that applies force, that w w in which force applies to give motion um, in our lives. The next slide. Um, well, it was kind of my main focus, the law of inertia, because there are three different laws, and the laws are, you know, connected. Um, they relate to each other because they're all talking about one thing, which is force. But I focus on the first law of um, Newton's first law of motion, which is law of inertia, which states that Newt which is which states that a body's at rest, or a body at rest, which or which is at rest, or a body in motion will stay in motion until a force, or until a force is act, until a force is applied or a force is acted on it and basically this is really simple um, it's basically saying that if you put a water bottle on the table and you leave it there it will stay on the table at the same position unless some force like wind or someone comes to push it or an earthquake shifts it to a different position than it was at the beginning and the same thing for um, in motion if you are pushing something to a certain point and you keep pushing you keep applying force it was to, it, the object will keep moving until you stop applying the force, or a different force opposes the force you've applied onto the object, um, and that's the law of inertia. And we see this every day in our daily lives. So I had the quick diagram elaboration on it. So yeah, so this is a soccer ball that's at rest. This is not a video. I have a video right after this that will show us kind of a more realistic application, but um, it's really um, not really uh, intuitive. It's um, Anyone can understand why. Most people understand why things happen, but they do not have the technical understanding or, yeah, or the theory to understand, like what you taught us this semester of why 
things happen the way they do. And so, yes, yeah, so this is a ball is at rest, and it says an object will remain will at rest, will remain at rest, unless the net force acts on it. Same thing with emotion. And um, the next video we have here is going to be a video of um, me. I, I was I play um, sports, mainly soccer. That's why I use a soccer ball for the previous slide. And I used for this, I play ping pong and billiards like pool. Um, so I was kind of in the honest lounge and I was like, okay, the best way to illustrate this would probably be with the, you know, a ball and just show, you know, inertia. So this video will show inertia and I'll kind of quickly, I'll talk, talk through while I, so this, yeah, I recorded this. So the ball was at rest and it stayed at rest until a force was applied to it, which is the ping pong pad or paddle. Um, and it kept rolling and rolling and rolling. And I, as I kept pushing it, it kept moving until I stopped it because I used an external for our pulse right there. I, I put the paddle in between the motion it was going towards. And this is something um, I, when I did, I remember it, not only force, but like, you know, collision where you would put another weight or mass and um, velocity against a different object to prevent it from um, continu um, continuous movement. So I'll keep playing and then the, I stopped it and I rolled it back and then I stopped it with my finger and it was still no movement whatsoever. This is a, a, a demonstration of the law of inertia. I did also hit it towards the net to show some kind of inelastic collision where when it hit the net it slowed down because and this is a bit this is maybe a bit off with um, the topic I chose but um, that's kind of shows um, inelastic collision and the transfer of energy where the energy that was that transferred into like velocity through the ball was lost when it hit the, the net um, but yeah so that was my illustration of inertia um, in real life and the other sports and so many other things that we can use to demonstrate inertia um, oh yeah yeah this is another slide And finally, real-world application forces help us get our everyday tax, tax done and assist in the natural flow of life. From running on a track to factory, separating metal form foreign, from, sorry, that's a typo, from foreign materials, roller skating with friends to watching your favorite soccer team score a goal. Without inertia, life would have been motionless or never season loop of locomotion. And so because of the law of inertia, of course, the law does not make things happen, but the concept behind the law, the law is what makes our life the way it is. That's why we're able to stop, move things, keep moving things, keep stopping things because of inertia. When you ap apply a force, when you apply a weight or you apply something, um, any kind of force to something, it will either keep it in motion or will stop it. Or And when there's nothing applied to it, it will stay in motion or will stay at rest until something, or sorry, not something, a force is apply to it so this is my project and um i just showed some diagrams to illustrate daily things that happen you know something like a fruit i think that's like a tomato or something i think it's a, either a persimmon or a tomato falling from a tree we have you know a bowling ball hitting the the pin and you can see there's some kind of like fade sh showing the initial and final position of that pin after it's hit uh, because it was at rest until a force, which is the ball, was applied to it. Same thing for the child riding the bike. Um, there's a little bit of torque going on, torque going on here, actually, uh, which has which is relates which is in relation to force. So force, and that's why I said force helps us get our everyday tax because it's in our everyday tax. There's always some kind of derivative or um, an integral of force somewhere applied in our life, um, and that's why I chose this because it covers so much. And I feel like it's uh, one of the main things I learned throughout this class um, and how it applies on so many different aspects um, of physics. 
So thank you very much. And um, I hope this presentation was educative and um, informative. Thank you.